lately I've gotten into home automation and this has led me to find a technology called Z-Wave. Uh, I won't get into too much detail about it, but it's kind of like Bluetooth for home automation devices in that any company can put Z-Wave into their device and it will work with any other Z-Wave device. So I have an Intramatic wireless lamp module right here and uh, it allows you to dim the lights and, and turn them on and off obviously uh, from any Z-Wave controller. So what I'm going to show you now is how to add it to your Z-Wave network from a program called Think Essentials, which I just think is great software. What you need is Think Essentials, which you can get from thinkessentials.com, a USB uh, Z-Wave dongle that's compatible. I just used the one that they had on the website, which was also an Intermatic. Uh, and you need some Z-Wave device. In this case, it's an um, Intermatic wireless control lamp module. So what you do is you fire up your Think Essentials and you plug in your USB and uh, you plug the module or well, are, all, all of them aren't just plug-in modules but anyway, you get, get powered up. And then you um, click Add Device on Think Essentials. It says press the button on the device you want to add and what it doesn't say is that the controller, in which case the uh, this USB dongle is added, acting as a controller, uh, and the module needs to be very close together uh, for security purposes. You know, you don't want your neighbor adding his devices to your network and then vice versa, I guess. Anyway, so make sure they're right next to each other. You press the button, there's the button, and it's adding device, and it just added it. So here, down here it just shows up as a little light bulb, but as it detects what actual uh, device it is, it even knows it's an Intermatic apparently because it, the picture looks about right. Uh, so, oh yeah, so I didn't even explain this. This is the interface for Think Essentials, and you can see I have four modules here. I have, this one is um, my bed light, this one's my floor lamp, this one's a space heater, and this one's the one I just added, which I will use to control this Christmas light candle thing. Actually, two of them. Uh, so, like, if I want to turn off my light, I can just click that, and my light goes off and back on. And then I can also, um, oops, I just clicked it again. I can right-click and adjust the brightness and have, you know, choose the brightness I want, which is cool. Anyway, so what I'll do is I'll put, I'll plug, oops, plug uh, my little candle into the module. It's on, so I will, I will uh, turn it off with through the computer. Just need to see, does a little fade. Yeah, and uh, so that's how you add it, and a little bit of what it can do. Um, Z-Wave is more than just that, though. For example, I use a Z-Wave software developer development kit to actually make a program that controls my lights, which I just think is cool and it's fun. So I, so in the mornings, my lights kind of fade on slowly, and the space heater turns on 30 minutes before I'm supposed to wake up. And uh, yeah, Z-Wave offers a lot of possibilities, and maybe I'll get more in depth into those in other videos, but for now I think I uh, have pretty much covered it.